Hey guys, welcome back. So, we're uh, still plugging away at trying to deal with our resource shortage, and I have two different ideas kicking around for how to get this working right. But, oh, we ran out of alien science apparently. Okay, well let's uh, put half of what I've got in my inventory in here. And, ooh, we're gonna need productivity twos in there actually. Do we have them? Hold on, I was supposed to be making them. What are we missing? We have eight, we're missing advanced circuits. And advanced circuits are right there, so why isn't the inserter pointed in the right direction to actually make the darn factory work? Because that would make things work. Yeah, so I've got a couple of, uh, there we go. Darn it, I'm supposed to have a full stack of those kicking around. Ooh, we better lock that for sure. Lock that for sure as well. We'll need speed modules in these eventually, but for the moment, actually, do I have any speed modules on me? No, I don't, because I'm using them to make the uh, faster fact, the better factories over there. In fact, let's cancel that. Now I have them on me. There we go. And let's go see if we can make green circuits any faster than they already are. So we're not building robot frames at the moment. Okay, so we've got a bat. Oh, we got a we got a bit of a oh, we got a pretty major uh, bottleneck right here, don't we? Where's my underground belt? Okay, so part of the problem, not a, I'm not sure how big of a problem, but the fact that it is up not up to modern belt standard might be causing us a tiny bit of grief here. Let's see, is there anywhere else where it hasn't been? Yeah, quite a bit of places where it hasn't been upgraded. So let's get it all the way up to full speed. Because there's no value in having them take any extra time to get to where they're going right now. There we go. That will help just a little. It'll help them get there just a tiny bit faster than they are. It still doesn't help with the red production here, which is where we're really running into trouble. So right now, oh, well, there's another problem, isn't there? Man, come back and revisit your systems once in a while, Gord, because you might discover that things are not entirely up to snuff. Okay, so problem one, copper is gone weird on me again. And we definitely do not have enough copper making it to the uh, the wire production, which means that our copper supply must be dropping, which means that our trains are not delivering enough, which means we need, yes, as we discussed in the last episode, yet another train station. As long as these two aren't interfering with each other, I'm not concerned. They are not. Lots of coal backlogged for fuel. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the trains for now. What matters right now is the fact that these are just not getting enough copper. So let's go see how much material we had left in... Okay, we're going to carry this with us. Of course it's full. Why wouldn't it be full? That would be almost, you know, an empty... empty. Oh, I've got that fusion reactor on me. Can I fit that in here? How big is that? It's huge! Holy smokes! Hmm. All right, well, let's... Don't let me forget I've got it in here, okay? That's because I'm going to lose it, I guarantee you. Get rid of those. Oh, don't keep that. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. So the issue is not the speed of the, t of the uh, uh, copper production, although that is definitely a factor, but it's not the factor. Where's my car? Dude, where's my car? There it is. Okay, so we've got at least... Yeah, our red circuits are just completely crunched. They've gone completely... The, the, their production's completely fried. Suffice to say. Okay, what else do we need in here? We've got walls. I'll get my extra cannon shells in there. Oh, we're going to need... Oh, I should deploy those logistics robots. They're no good to me in there. Oh, we're going to need some construction robots. All right, got to gather a bunch more stuff up here. But uh, when I come back... 
we will head out and start establishing a new, an actual outpost, like one that is not part of our monster-sized secured area here. So I shall return. Okay, we had some more items destroyed up here in the north, so we've got to get this under some defensive auspices here, because this is just getting silly. I've lost a lot of material up here, and I've had some near disasters as well. So we'll get a storage chest in place here, and then we are going to clean this silly mess up, because that is not a solid defense line right there. Yeah. Honestly, neither is this setup. Let's get all of this out of here. Let's clean up all of this here. We're going to completely rebuild this from scratch. And get a one that will actually work properly now. Let's just hope I got enough laser turrets with me. I don't even have remotely enough laser turrets with me. Well, I guess we'll get the first one started and then hope for the best from there. Even if I just have to build some walls temporarily or something. Okay. And we will start it in line with this lake here because it's a nice defense line. power line in place to make sure that this is actually powered and then see how far we can go and then go get some more materials to continue it shouldn't be necessary to do that there we go get rid of that all right oops Stop it. I did not want that. I got it wrong. And that is not what I want to build here. Okay, so we got enough for the walls, but nothing else. But I do have power lines on me. So we should get those in. I had power lines on me. Yeah, I do. Okay, there they are. Get you guys in there. And then we will sprint our way down to the south and get our proper, a proper stack of lasers. Of course, what's probably happening is that I didn't get resupplied on lasers, which means something probably has run out. Oh yeah, the reason this line isn't running is that I was I'm, I was starting work on the second um, tr a second train station. I wanted to each to be supplied by a separate uh, copper line, but that kind of slowed down there. Oh, I got it. There's enough of those there. Good. That should be enough to finish up that the defensive line I'm building. Just gotta hurry before something terrible happens. Go, go, go. Up the... There we go. Across here. Up. Go, go, go. So much crap still left around here. My gosh. What a mess. Okay. Here we are. Hey, guys. Have some lasers. Let's hope that 50 is enough for the... Oh, 100, sorry. 100 should be enough for the job, for sure. Hey. I've, that's the second time I've lost a blueprint, mysteriously. What happened there? Did I store it, or what? No, I must have... I must be accidentally deleting some of these blueprints. Apparently I don't have any lights on me, either. Let's get a few of those in. Lights are under miscellaneous. Does this have enough? Yeah, that's got should be enough repair packs for a while. Well, let's get a few more made too. You lights into there. Excellent. All right, now that blank blueprint I had, we're going to copy from here to there because that will be a far better design. And you're going to become just get rid of that. Just the wall. 
There we go. And now we can overlap it like so. Oh my. Come on, guys. Hurry. Get it up. Get it up. Alright, well, I think that I'm not going to be able to completely finish this, but we're at least going to be in much, much better shape as of now. We'll just overlap it. We can't do that. Can we just take it back by one? Yes, we can. We can do that. And then we'll just close the walls and clean up the rest of this later. Let's get that one in there because the robots will take care of it. There we are. Again, another batch of cleanup to be done later, but for the moment, it should do... Actually, we can just clean up this mess right here because we don't need these anymore. We also don't need this. Or these. Or those. Or that. That should do. That'll at least get things a little bit tidied up. And now we have a nice solid defensive line along this perimeter, which is the way it should be. Should have been for should have been this way a long, long time ago. But better late than never, right? Okay, let me go finish prep for our new outpost. Alrighty, we're finally ready. It's been a whole night since I actually was last on, but we are ready. Whoa! To expand our base to a new, a brand new outpost. And we want to play it careful here because this thing is full to the brim with very valuable stuff. So let's get our tank out. And let's fuel it up. We we'll use some of this excess wood we seem to have on us. Get some shells into it. And let's move our way south. We'll also grab, let me see, I have a RoboPort on me. Let's see, where we got, where we have. Come on, RoboPort, I know I have one. There it is. One RoboPort. We're all three RoboPorts. The robots. Uh, leave the mining drills behind. Leave the pumps behind. I don't even know why I brought those. Get those. Get those. Okay, that should get us started at least. Okay, so my biggest worry right now is that these nearby biters will freak out hey, while I'm trying to get this all set up. And I might as well try and encapsulate that uh, iron deposit. Now nah, I can expand for that later. Oh, of course I didn't bring my uh, power cables down, which was a really foolish thing. We need a high tension power right there. Push it to there. And onwards to here, which is where we're going to put our RoboPort. Time to power up. Take the construction robots. I should make some repair packs here just in case things start going wrong. And then I need a couple suppliers. This is the method, this is the nice way to deploy a base. And power poles, and that should be pretty much everything uh, that is needed, other than the uh, missing, oh, there's, there we are, more of those, no, more of those, more of those, that should do it. All right, and then RoboPort, take some repair packs, and then let's get this show straight one and the diagonal one right there and we will go hey guys look at the laser turrets oh crap there we go that was close okay Come on. All right, and let's do this the right way around. That lines up with that, which means that there is actually a gap in my design. Oh, crap. 
Lasers, lasers. Definitely need a couple of lasers right there until I get this up and running. Okay. And we've used up all those repair packs already. That's scary. Because I screwed up immensely. Well, okay, not immensely. Could be a lot worse, but at least now we have a distraction here. And boom, and boom. Okay, now we're secure. It's not a perfectly designed diagonal, is it? Okay. Let's get that out of there. Get one more straight section right there. And then we'll go with the diagonal section on the other side. Oops. Like so. Okay. We are pretty much under control for the moment. I guess this could have had a slightly improved design if I'd been thinking about it in, the, in retrospect, but as far as... Oh crap. Let me out. Let me out. Well, that was almost a disaster. Okay. Straight section. Right there. Okay. It's actually probably much, much larger than it needs to be on this front, isn't it? Well, in fact, let's trim it down right there and right there. And add a bit more of an earlier diagonal here. That's better. And then we'll put a straight section right here. Where's that? Wow, okay. <laughs> Definitely did not build this southernmost part of it very well, did I? Oh well. Not a big deal. There we go. And one extra laser. A little bit of manual rebuild is not a big problem. Okay. So let's see, we need to get a train station in here. And if all goes well, we'll push down into this area a little further, because we actually need alien artifacts kind of badly as well. We're, we're running quite low on them, which means we got a murder session coming up. Let's see what kind of base we got here. Anything of serious concern? Not really. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Well, that didn't go so badly. I've had worse sessions. Oh boy, like that right there, for example. Heh, <laughs> let's go get that tank. We'll, we'll take a few risks, but not all the risks, I don't think. Now, my understanding is that the uh, biters rarely, if ever, find their way around these things, but we're going to assume that they're going to. We'll just do a little cleanup. We'll get the train station sort of defined here. Get the tank out of the way. All right. Get out. Out of there. So I have no idea which way is which on the train line. Okay, it's going to come down on the left. Yeah, yeah, so it's right-handed. So this, so to come in this way. Put the train station out at this end. All right, let's see where we can rotate this around. Let's just get a bit more of this out. I'll make three out. Okay, and the station will be immediately before the... That's the that's going to be where it's going to have to go. All right, and then... Come on, there we go. Perfect, okay. All right, and then a loop. Man, at the size of this thing, I actually might just have to... Ha! 
<laughs> you could almost just consider uh, attaching this whole thing to the front line, but... All right. Well, that is not quite right. All right, let's see what we can do here. There we go, got it. Excellent, all right. Okay, and then we'll bring the uh, other track in diagonally. Except we'll put the gate right here, somehow. Let's just get rid of this section of the row. That looks like the right line, so... There we go, that one, and... Now then, let's get a wall in place here, with a few gates, or something. Yeah, we're probably going to need some gates, aren't we? Military. I do not have what I need to make those gates, darn it, because I don't have enough electronic circuits at the moment. Okay, well, for now, let's just get the, let's go get my gear and get the train sort of set up. I get one for coming in and one for going out. Okay, and let's get one more section vertically here, or even two, to ensure that the any biters that decide to go around are going to be having a bad old day. That should do it. Okay, now I have train parts in here, three train cars and a train. Let's load her up with fuel. Tell you to go to Yukasumi time. Yukitsu times? Sure. Go to the station. Oh, jeez, I always forget. Add it, then go to the station. Oops. Go to the station. Alright, and one more try. Go to the station. Stop the train, get out this time, and one, two, three, there we go. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Now, fuel has already been set up at the other end. I have a second copper station, which I will show you when we get up to the other side of the uh, base. The RoboPort needs to be moved. The slightly damaged RoboPort is in its own place. Let's put you right there instead. As long as you're still covering everything, we'll be fine. That's a little more out of the way. And then we'll get one regular power pole. Of course we don't. There we go, and let's load those repair packs and those robots back in. Really? Okay. And then a few right there, actually. Don't even technically need that. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, power for the loading system. Oops. That was not intentional. Actually, we're going to just need to take that stuff back anyways. All right, let's do the last of this. This is the last the last row. Okay, let's get this thing covered in mining drills, which I should have a whole bunch of somewhere around here. Where are they? Probably in my car. Because that would be a logical place to keep the silly things. Okay, car. Mining drills? 
There we are, 24 of them. Let's see how much of this we can cover with 24 mining drills. Okay, let's see. So if we start with these being some special, actually, hold on. the primary is going to be the primary row is going to be right here. So let's do it that way. One, two, and then this one will be a special. It'll dump right there. Three, four, five. Let's do it like that. We'll put one right there, one right there, and we'll put one right in the middle there. Now then you, right there. I'm trying to spread these out as much as possible. I kind of want this to last. Whoops. I'd rather not have to come back here and re rewire everything on a regular basis if I can avoid it. All right, that one can go there. Yeah, that'll work okay. Boom. Boom. And we'll do a bit of an overlap at the edge there. Oh, that's all we're going to be able to wire up right now. Let's just rework that a little. I'd rather have them unloading equally on opposite sides if we can, because it'll make it easier to manage the actual train operation, or the loading operation if I do that. Now, do I have the materials to make any more of these? No, I do not. Power time. Two, three, four, excellent, all right, we got serious power going on now. Okay, we got two rows of mining drills, and they're going to three loading systems, so we'll see, that gives us a bit of extra redundant, so let's take this one this way. Actually, we'll take them both the same direction, and we'll see how things look when they get to the same area. This one can go up and around and be silly on the last one here <coughs> until I figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, right, right, there's more belts in the car. And we've also got reds, because I don't think I'm going to have enough blues to do the front end of this. I really should be using the reds to do the back end. Because there's no reason to have one transport belt moving that fast. Okay. Okay, let's try and get some blue. Alright, clean that up. The easiest bet will just be to have the two balance go through a balancer, or well, a load evener, and we'll take that to there. Come on, where there's the real ones. Here I am using the uh, logistics system. No, nope, there's no reason to do that. 